that's pretty crazy. But you say they took the whole car, though. Yeah. How did they, they took my my Subaru? They took the whole car just to steal the Cadillac kind of like converter off. Of it. How did they? How did they? How did they start it up? I wonder. Um. That, oh, they destroyed the ignition. Absolutely destroyed. Oh, oh, to 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 they get the whole it. Steering column apart. Oh, boy. Man, it's almost like you just got, you got to have, so you say your garage is, uh, what's wrong with it? I just, I'm a, I'm an architectural designer now, and I was a contractor, and I just have them. You got your tools, stuff in there? So I just have, yeah, all my tools are in there. So it must be a small garage. It's a car and a half. Car and a half. But I mean, I had a huge collection of tools. When right. I stopped building. But now I now it's squeezed in there, uh, mm -hmm. which is a bummer because I like going in there and, and working on things. And now I got to pull the car out to do that. It's not the end of the world, but. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Yeah, I remember one day, man. They went up there and uh, they what did they do? This was in Montclair too. It was Mont Montclair, Rock Ridge, or something. One of those. They had uh, they they had broke. And I think slashed every. Well, there was one time when they slashed everybody's tire up there or something. Oh, and then one time they broke in a lot of cars, man. Yeah, a lot of cars. Yeah, man, you gotta get. They, they, uh, they found my truck, but it was almost unrecognizable. Well. They found your truck. My my truck. Right now, in, uh, when that happened, how, did you have insurance or anything? Or I did. I got paid for it. Oh, really? What did yeah. what did they? What? Um, they paid me a decent amount because after COVID, the uh, used car prices went up quite a bit. Oh, right. oh, after COVID? Yeah. So, um, so I actually got a decent amount for it, but it certainly wasn't enough for me to go buy another truck in its likeness. What? What? Uh, no, when you say a decent, what, what, what type of truck was it? I had a. It was an 03 Dodge Dakota, and it was. It was a quad cab. It was manual drive, four wheel drive. Oh, oh, three a, though. A rack on it, but it's. O three, so that's, it's not worth all that much, except for yeah, the way right. I treat cars. Is I bought what did I do? It had a new engine in it, had all new suspension, all new exhaust. And I redone all the bairings, re <laughs> new tires were on it. So basically, you, Damn, you had everything's a, new on it. You had a twenty year old car with new stuff in it. Yeah. So what did, I don't like spending the money on the on what a did new they, car. What you might have asked, what did they give you for it? Uh, I think they gave me eight grand. How much? Eight. Eight? Yeah. Which how, but how, how much you think you paid in, in I mean I bought it for ten grand maybe fifteen years ago, but I usually put another six grand into it. Right. Well you got actually no, you I got something out of it, man. You you, it. you you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You you Yeah, I got you yeah. it. Yeah. But you, I miss it, you know. <laughs> right, you, yeah, right. What, what 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 insurance company was that? Insurance. Which one? Insurance. Insurance. Yeah, insurance. Oh. Insurance. Um, e they gave me they gave me sixty five hundred for my Subaru and, mm -hmm. and totaled it, and I got to keep it. So it drives. It's just kind of tore up in the interior, and it just mm -hmm. needs some additional engine work. Right. And e I already put five into it, just getting it running again. Oh wow! Put five into getting it running again. Hmm. That's a Subaru, mm -hmm. right? Hmm. Man, that's that's too much. That's too much, there, man. That uh. That uh. Hmm. That's 
They just, they've gotten to the point now, man, where they, uh, because these laws are so, so laxed, you know, they, out here, you know, you can, you can take a thousand dollars worth of merchandise and they're not going to do nothing, you know, yeah, up to a thousand dollars. I mean, how can a business owner just keep absorbing that kind of hit? <laughs> So I guess they just said, well, we won't get we won't get in trouble if it's under a thousand dollars. So let's just go rob. <laughs> yeah. You know? <laughs> that's that's yeah, what they passed that Senate bill that made it a misdemeanor under a thousand. That's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, misdemeanor. People so that's ain't like a slap on the wrist. That's like saying that's like giving you a license to go steal. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as that bill passed, um some I think the kids were like twenty three. And 25. They came to the Montclair Starbucks. Montclair Starbucks? Yeah. Yeah. Opened the door. There was a guy there with his laptop, and the kid just grabs the laptop. The guy's sitting right in front of his laptop. Oh, the, you mean the one over there by Safeway? Yeah. Kid grabs the laptop, runs out the door. The guy pursues him. The kid jumps into his getaway car. The guy reaches in to try to grab it from him. They roll the window down on his arm and drive away and run this guy. You mean roll the window up? Yeah, excuse me. And drive away and run this guy into a couple cars and kill him. Oh, well, that was that that situation where a girl got, it, it was a, somebody got drugged. It was up in Montclair, too. I think it's the same situation. He tried to run. He ran after the guy. Yeah. Was it an Asian guy? Yes, it was. I think that's that's yeah. the same situation. Yeah. yeah, that was that was crazy. That was like was several like, years your, ago. There's your Senate bill right there. Mm -hmm. Made it okay to go steal a laptop with no punishment. Right. You don't think people are gonna go try and do it? You say Especially right. Especially right in COVID times when you know people are out of business. People have no money. Right. I, I guess. Yeah. I think what I'll do is I'll go up to the. I'm gonna, go with it. I'm gonna use my secret. I'll use my secret. Oh, I got my own little, little secret. <laughs> you got all this gear on the top of your car. I feel like you get to just cut people off. And, and yeah. Because they're scared it's an uh, auto drive car about to kill them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. They, they, they don't want to break in this one because they think it's a camera. Yeah, on everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't. They, they, they being watched every, yeah. every, you know. So what are you doing with the data? I don't know what they're. Well, it just. Oh, this is this is, is this like a. a car this is a lift or something. No, yeah, it's a rental car. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. gotcha. But they uh, they pay me a little extra to drive it. Okay. So this is because it was the only car that they had when I was renting it. Yeah. Lift, so okay. it kind of. Uh, it kind of, uh, it's not bad, man. I mean, you know, when I take it down there to get it, get it, uh, get it unloaded. Yeah. They pay you a little, you know, to, to bring it down there to them. Okay. Nice. Plus when you drive it around here and all that, they pay you. Okay. So it's like two different, two different pays, you know, okay. I just unload. Now the next unload is at nine thirty. Okay, a month from now. Yeah, about a month from now, but shit, I'm gonna try to get down there a little before month. <laughs> but it may, I don't know. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, 
it's called Woven Planet. Woven Planet? Yeah, they're part of Toyota. Oh. Yeah, it's a Toyota subsidiary. See how we passed all this traffic up there? Yeah, we, get up, uh, we take a right way up there. Oh, oh yeah, take it. Like, oh. But see, you can only do this little, little, this little tip when you're, uh, if it's during the weekday, it has to be before 3.30. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, because it's a, it's a carpool type situation. Once you get up there, it's a carpool. But this is a Saturday, so it's no biggie. Yeah, it helps you to bypass all that stuff up there. Yeah, man, that's that's. I got a, I got an old school friend that stays up in Montclair. I wonder has he ever been broken into up there, Dara? Hmm. Well, and I will say I'm one of the lowest houses on the road going up. One of and the lowest houses? Yeah, just elevation-wise. It's one of the last houses before you hit the freeway. Oh. Uh, oh. And I just, that's, not having street lamps is a big part of it. Oh, yeah. Well, I've, I've been up there several times, man, at, at, at night, and it's dark. Yeah. <clears throat> it's very dark. Oh, yeah. It's dark. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when I drive through there, I, I use my high beams. <laughs> I lived in uh, on the Creek Lafayette for about ten years. And, yeah. And I was uh, I was just missing. I started to feel like kind of a crushing weight of just lack of culture. So I wanted to be back in the. You say lack of culture out there? Yeah. And uh, it's too gentrified. It's too it's too white, man. Too 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 too, too much man. too much white. Yeah. <laughs> But you are white. Yeah, I am. But yeah, you know, it's, I grew up in Oakland. And, oh, you and grew I was up. Just right. Feeling like, man, I gotta, I wanna get back. So. Uh, yeah. The one nice thing about being out there is no one stole any of my shit. Yeah. I got back and immediately had my cars broken into. And I was yeah. Like, All right, I'm back in my town. <laughs> yeah, it's just. I remember this growing up. Yeah, it's like, uh, <laughs> like over here in uh, in Burlingame, man. You don't really see that stuff. Yeah. You know, all these break-ins and stuff over here, but Burlingame, you don't really, you don't hear about too much of anything, man. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure some things are going they, on. They had, for the longest time in Lafayette, they had a, um, a police, for, a Ford Ranger police vehicle, and it was parked in the median. Parked? And where was it? It was parked in the, in one of the, in the median on the main street. The, the, the median, and uh-huh. They had it plugged into an outlet. And it was, what it was doing was it was reporting everybody that was coming in, into the city. Who, uh, you're talking about uh, Lafayette? Uh-huh. And oh, yeah. I, I can, Lafayette is a, Lafayette's a different type of town, man. Yeah. And so yeah, it would log any license plate that wasn't a known resident. Like, like, a, like, like, oh, really? Yeah. And so they were using it to just well, go, how, how could it, know. how could it, how could it, uh, I wonder how could it read that, though? Oh, their systems are so advanced, man. Just, yeah. Camera scans the license plate as it's driving in, and, and yeah. it runs it through a database. Check. Oh, 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 oh! So they were doing oh, and they would try, and, and they probably could check. So then they would go patrol if it was a car that was you know, right, home, because home if they can run, I think it, they were. Um, I had a couple of friends from Richmond come in, and they got they got pulled over, over. immediately. <laughs> yeah, because see. And, and when they run that plate, man, they can probably see who it. Well, apparently they see who 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 is registered to and all that. On, and right. then and then they can from. they can get information on that individual. Yeah. If they got a warrant, if they yeah. got a. So you it know. was it was a nice big you're not welcome in this town kind of a. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's Lafayette, man. That's like uh, Lafayette is like uh, it's not like Concord or Walnut Creek. No. It, it 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 it's it's you know yeah. you 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 just better go in there and, and know who you going to see and 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 and, 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 and go go directly there. Don't drive anywhere. And and make sure he's outside his house. And then drive their car wherever yeah. you want to go. Yeah. Oh, this guy. So. Yeah. 